Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Beyond AT Technology. And if you're new here, my name is Victoria, and in my YouTube channel, I will be talking about cybersecurity and the different types of cybersecurity. In my previous video, I talked about cybersecurity and healthcare. So if that's something you're interested about, please go and check it out. But today we will dive into the world of cybersecurity within transportation and logistics. As our world becomes more interconnected, the risks and importance of securing the systems grow significantly. Transportation and logistics play a very important role in our economy. But with the increased reliance on our digital systems, the need for robust cybersecurity measures has never been more crucial. In my first slide, I will be talking about the importance of cybersecurity in transportation and logistics. The integration of technology in fleet management, supply chains, and logistic operations highlights the significance of cybersecurity in ensuring seamless and secure operations. In transportation and logistics, technology keeps everything moving smoothly, but as these systems become more digital, they become more vulnerable to cyber threats. So as much as we like to see the positive outcome, we also need to learn how to deal with the negative outcome. In my next slide, I will be talking about cyber threat landscape in transportation. Sadly, this industry isn't immune to cyber threats. Ransomware, GPS spoofing, and data breaches are among the many dangers threatening transportation and logistics systems. Here, I also have a chart on which you can see which transportation type receives the most threat. And with 31%, it's airlines. Here I listed an example of how it would work and how it would look. Ransomware, GPS spooning, and data breaches are among the most dangerous systems face. For instance, hackers could manipulate GPS data causing chaos in navigation systems or breach databases, disrupting supply chains. And in this slide, I will be talking about vulnerabilities and risks. Even the most simplest things, such as outdated software, insecure IoT devices, and gaps in security protocols may leave these systems vulnerable, potentially exposing critical operations to cyber attacks. As transportation and logistics systems rely more on digital technology, vulnerabilities emerge. So addressing these vulnerabilities is a very crucial thing that we must take action on. In this slide, I will be talking about the impact of cyber attacks. The repercussion of cyber attacks in transportation and logistics can lead to a supply chain disruptions, financial losses, and compromised safety measures. Cyber attacks in transportation and logistics can have severe consequences. For instance, a successful attack on navigation systems or logistic databases could leak could lead to widespread chaos and economic losses. In this chart of cyber attacks by type, in the logistics, it's 41.82% of data breach attacks and 58.18% of ra ransomware attacks. So in this slide, I'll be talking about regulatory compliance. So there is actually two regulations for cybersecurity and transportation and logistics. Um, one is GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, and the second one is ISO, International Organization for Standardization. In this slide, I will be talking about the best practices in cybersecurity, transportation, and logistics. Practices such as encryption, regular software updates, and strong access controls is the key to creating a safer system. And adopting these best practices is crucial for maintaining a resilient cybersecurity posture in transportation and logistics operations. In this slide, I will be talking about securing IoT and connected systems. Securing IoT devices used in transportation. Think, vehicle, telematics, and tracking system is vital for safeguarding against cyber threats. 
Devices like vehicle telemetics and tracking systems need robust security. Strengthening endpoint security and ensuring encryption of these connected devices helps prevent cyber threats from infiltrating critical systems. In this next slide, I will be talking about incident response and recovery. Having a comprehensive incident response plan is crucial. Quick detection and efficient recovery are pivotal in minimizing the impact of cyber incidents. Efficient recovery strategies help restore operations swiftly after an attack, reducing disruptions in supply chains and ensuring minimum downtime. So, in conclusion, a proactive approach to cybersecurity is imperative to secure the transportation and logistics networks that drive our modern world today. Also, by understanding and addressing vulnerabilities, complying with regulations, and implementing best practices, we fortify these systems against cyber threats. Protecting these critical networks isn't just about technology. It's about ensuring the smooth flow of goods and services that impact global trade and economics. This video has come to an end. Um, I hope this overview has been insightful for you. Please feel free to engage in the comments uh, and don't hesitate to ask any questions you have about cybersecurity or um, cybersecurity in transportation logistics. And please give me some recommendation about um, what you want to hear about. And also, if you enjoyed my videos, please leave a like and leave a comment and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next video. Bye.